Let's talk a little bit more about site navigation. Once you've registered for the course, you'll be able to go to the course page, which will display a lot of information. So you may have some introductory material, and then each of the chapters or units is going to be broken up into different blocks. So let's say we're working on chapter one. Let's scroll down. And while we could click on the tab to open it, this will rapidly fill our screen with clutter. So it's better to use this isolate button over here. And this will open up chapter one to its different subsections. And notice that each of the subsections also has its own isolate button. So again, you could just open the block by clicking on the tab, but again, to avoid cluttering your screen too much, it's better to use the isolate button. And now we're in section 1.1, and there are no further blocks, so we can't isolate anything. So there's a lot of useful course information here. This link, if you click on it, will take you to an online version of the textbook. If you want something that's actually printable, you can go to this link, which will take you to a printable version. But probably the most important link on this page is this one, which will take you to the homework problems. So you have the list of questions over here on the left. And if you look, you'll see that the very first question is highlighted, which means that this question that we're seeing right now is question one. And we can answer the question. Now, once you've done that, scroll down to the bottom of the screen. And if you think you've answered the question correctly, click on Submit. And you'll get your grade on the question. And we didn't do so well. However, since this is a homework problem, we always have the option of retrying a similar question. So we can try a similar question by clicking on this button. And we'll answer the new question. Click Submit. And this time we got the question correct, and a check mark appears next to the correctly answered question. On most questions, you'll get a couple of attempts to answer correctly. So if you enter in a random answer and find out it's not correct, you have a couple of options. In some, but not all, cases, you might be able to pull up a written example of the problem. And again, in some, but not all, cases, you might be able to pull up a video lesson. Now, whether by doing the review or reworking the problem, you might get a new answer, so we can enter that in. Now, sometimes you'll try a problem and fail to get the correct answer after three attempts. If you run out of attempts on a problem, you can try another similar question. And because you can always do this on the homework, there's no reason to get less than 100%. Now, once you've done all the problems you care to do for now, you can navigate back by clicking on the navigation bar back at the top. And if later you come back and decide you really should do a few more homework problems, reopen the homework assignment, all of your progress has been saved, the green check marks indicate the problems you've already completed and gotten full credit for, the circles indicate problems that you've attempted but haven't gotten full credit for, and the triangles are the problems you haven't done yet. Now, if you haven't gotten full credit on a homework problem, you really should try to. So let's retry this problem nine. And what we get is a summary of what we've done. What we want to do is to try another similar question. Or if we still have attempts left on the question, we might be able to reattempt the question. 
Again, because these options are always available for the homework problems, you should be able to get 100% on all homework assignments. At the end of each chapter is a quiz. Before you take the quiz, you may want to look at the review problems for the chapter. So the review problems are set up a little bit differently. Notice that you don't have a written example, you don't have a video lesson. And that's because these are set up in the same way that the quiz problems are. You have to be able to answer the quiz questions on your own and without help. The review problems include a mix of problems from the chapter. And once you've practiced enough to take the actual quiz, you can navigate back using the navigation bar. And then take the quiz. And remember, you only have 60 minutes to complete the 10 questions on the quiz. Once you've answered as many questions as you can, click Submit to have your quiz graded. and see your score. Now as long as you're within the time limit, you may fix your answers. You can reattempt the assessment. So here we see the answer to our second question is incorrect. So let's go fix it. Maybe answer another question we skipped. We can save our answers, but saving is not submitting. You actually need to submit the assessment for the grade to count. So we'll return to the assessment, scroll down and submit, and see our new scores. And again, as long as we have time left, we can fix things.